guys, how's it going? So today I wanted to just very quickly do the BJD Addicts prompt number 5, which I think is the workspace. Uh, but before I get started, uh, thanks very much for all the new subscribers that are coming from Lavely Day's channel. It was very exciting to get like 23 new subscribers overnight after I posted that garbage Animal Crossing video, <laughs> which I'm debating taking down at this point. But, uh, you know, I'm glad that you, m that you were kind enough to gloss over how bad that last video was. <laughs> and I hope you enjoy this one more. Anyway, so my workspace is visible in almost every video I've done, but I thought it would be interesting to see, or to explain it more in detail. So let me get up real quick. Okay, so right here we have a Hatsune Miku poster that my friend gave me in high school. This is a picture of my friends and me in high school. This one is me. This is a painting I did of Survey in, gosh, 2018. This is a picture of Alba from the Gazette. This is a picture of Garnet. Those are some glow-in-the-dark Hello Kitty or Sanrio kick stickers. They do not glow. I want my money back. All three dollars. <laughs> and over here, I have big plans for this wall. Uh, these, these, and this one are all pictures. This one too of Pico-chan's boy Garnet, which is very exciting because I won him, or I won this photo set of him over her summer giveaway, and she let me choose this picture of Louis as an extra, so exciting. This is, I think it's a COA for Dal Chateau, or their business card, I'm not really sure. This is more pictures of me and my friends, that's another Sanrio sticker, but my plan for this this wall in particular is to gather pictures of my friends' dolls and pictures that people have drawn of my dolls because I've gotten some really excellent, uh, I guess, fan art, if you could call it that. <laughs> I mean, I don't have fans, I just have friends, but some of them have called it fan art. Uh, and over here, I'll show you real briefly. This is a portrait I drew of Gekt, um, probably 2018, that he actually liked on Instagram, so I framed it. Wow. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, that's the walls. Oh, and this is a this is a print I got from Disney World in 2009. So very exciting. Okay. And here is my computer. It is an HP Pavilion all-in-one. This is where I play my video games. Some of them, such as my fifth copy of Resident Evil 4, my second copy of Resident Evil 5 and 6. Um, Castlevania Anniversary, Sims 3, Seven Days to Die, Granny Simulator, Stardew Valley, you know, the classics. <laughs> this is also where I use, uh, Clip Studio Paint, or I keep calling it Manga Studio, because I have that too. <clears throat> That's also where I do some of my writing, but I don't typically write over here because I don't like how my back faces the door. And right down here is a very broken box, which I do plan to replace with a better, a box in better condition. <laughs> but this is just has uh, some doll supplies such as magic erasers, uh, paint brushes, pencils, ribbon to pull their heads, that kind of stuff. And right here are my Castlevania Funko Pops and a little Sephiroth, uh, whatever you call that. <laughs> Uh, I'm way more into the games than the show. The show made me real angry. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Here is some cranberry juice. There is my uh, Cheshire Cat phone cradle from the Disney store. God darn it, I almost killed him with cranberry juice. Talk about foreshadowing. This is my Guritama mouse pad. That's a dirty brush I didn't know was there. This is why I have no brushes anymore. And here is... <coughs> Here's my boy in this lovely, um, dirty looking but not dirty <laughs> chair I got from the thrift store many moons ago. It's amazing. <laughs> and I love it. One of my favorite things I've ever bought. But obviously this is Sarah, this is Servi, uh, Maroni, Lamont, Miku Alba, and feet in the way. But this is uh, the area under my shelf that I keep most of my dolls on for most of the time. Oh, this is Doll Chateau Sleepy in there. 
And uh, I just got, this is why I wanted to do the video, I just got these uh, string lights from the Dollar Tree and I stuck them to the underside of this shelf so that I would have an interesting lighting effect and behind Servi is a salt lamp that changes colors so it's very exciting. And over here is my small collection of tuxedo sand containers. There's nothing in this, it's just, I think there's a pair of hands or something. <laughs> It's just, I really like this box from Sanrio.com. I'll give you a better look. It says words that we cannot read. <laughs> I could read it because I was a. I, mean, I could read it at one point because I was top of my class in Japanese in college, but that, that only lasts so long. <laughs> you know, I'm not in college anymore. This is my camera. It's a Nikon Cool Picks. S3300. If that means anything to anyone. And here's my other tuxedo safe treasure box. And uh, this just has like skincare stuff and a wig and Adriel's earrings, which I have yet to put back in. Yeah, there we go. And a couple of jewelry pieces that I have to fix because I didn't make them properly to begin with. <laughs> Yeah, it smells really nice in here. But, oh yeah, this is another tuxedo sand container. I love tuxedo sand. <laughs> I'll set that back over here. Okay, and this right here is a nice little doll-sized ring light that's really helpful for taking photos. It has a cold setting, a warm setting, and then a white setting. And, you know, it just helps a lot for uh, all your lighting needs. And you can move it around for interesting shadow, or, yeah, interesting shadows. Or you could just stick your the <laughs> lens of your camera through it. Uh, like this. To get the best, uh, well, to get some illumination. I don't know if you're supposed to do that. So, yeah, this was the, uh, I guess, ground level part of the the desk or the desktop surface. Oh, I don't remember if I mentioned, but obviously Miku is a Miku's a pull-up. My cat is crying. I'll get him in a second. And uh, Lamont back here is an easel. I don't think you need a better. I mean, I just showed you a lamp. I guess I could show you my shame. Yeah, I hate that face up. I want to redo it so bad. But the thing is, I do all my face ups with. I, I remove them with alcohol, and well, you can't find alcohol right now. <laughs> I might resort to acetone or just. You know, suck it up and keep him in the shadow so I don't have to see him no more. Ooh. Okay. So over here we have a, uh, I think it's called My Life As Fuzzy Saucer Chair. And right here is Rizol. He's holding a Happy Meal toy from many years ago. Here is my lady. Oh my god, Harley. I'll get him in a second, I promise. <laughs> Here is Cereza, who was a gift from my friend. And I am too afraid to paint her because of that color, and I'm just not sure what to do, and if I mess up, I can't take it off. It's a whole thing. <laughs> and here is my boy, Adriel. I actually just gave him a haircut, if you can see. I cut sort of bangs into it, just so that he would have more shape around his face. And, uh, I think it's cute. I mean, I vaguely regret it, but, I mean, I did what I intended to do. <laughs> so yeah, there's Adriel. And lastly, we have Duma. Whose hair I did not brush. And I wish I had now, but I will not. Anyway. So yeah, that's my desk. I hope you enjoy it. There are more shelves under here, but it's not doll related or art related. It's just like a printer and some other garbage. <laughs> anyway, thank you again so much for all my new subscribers. I hope I didn't disappoint you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I hope you're making doll videos too. If you do make doll videos, let me know in the comments because we're all getting bored. So bored. Life is so much longer when you have to stay at home all the time. And uh, have a good day.